I can tell you one thing, a fabric shopping trip to New York will make you seriously reevaluate your current sewing stash. And like I said in my kind of story time video about the trip, Amber and I were talking the whole weekend about how like the first five years that we went and did that, how we were shopping for things this year that were so different than what we used to buy. It's like pre-pandemic versus post-pandemic. Um, both Amber and I changed jobs in the year or two before the pandemic where we had corporate jobs and then now we both work from home. And we were just like, remember all the silks we would buy? Remember all the like drapey, beautiful, like kind of dressy fabrics we would buy? We weren't even like looking down those aisles. So when I got home, I decided it's time to sell the stash. It, I'm just not ever going to use these fabrics as much as I love them. They're just not practical in my life. And I know that there are so many of you out there who these fabrics would be practical for. So I am selling them all through Destashify. If you've never used them before, it's a great little site um, where I can post um, the things I wanna sell and then you guys can buy them and it makes the transaction like super easy. It's kind of like Etsy, but just for fabric stashes and also pattern stashes. And I think I'm gonna try and sell some like other tools and stuff there too. I'm pretty sure Biscuit's gonna hang out the whole time. So hopefully you guys aren't too distracted, but between her and the pretty fabric, no one's gonna be looking at me, which <laughs> is honestly fine. Okay, so um, I have gone through my lightweight fabrics. I have all mine categorized by lightweight and then woven and knit. So I think knits are first and then lightweight wovens. Um, so let's just go through these. I'm gonna show you each and every one of them, kind of like a little swatch video, but it's gonna be like the whole thing. It's kind of like QVC. You know what, it's always been my dream to be a QVC hostess. Um, so here's my chance. Okay, at QVC if you're watching, HSN, you're good too. Um, call me, yeah. Okay, so first up, knit, drapey, rayon, uh, rayon jersey of some kind with this beautiful blue background, beautiful roses. Um, the drape is like pretty significant. She's lightweight. She's really, really drapey. Can you guys see that? Um, so there's this one. Nice, lightweight, drapey. I think I have a yard, maybe a yard and a half of this one. Um, and two, I think they are mostly all, um, at least in this category of lightweights, um, the 55 inch or more, um, 55 to 60 inch. So number one, she's gorge. Okay, next up, you know it, you love it. Double brush Polly. <laughs> it's getting less QVC and more, um, more um, rodeo, what, how they, when they sell the animals, like a auction, more like an auction. Um, but this has this really pretty like rose background. The color is looking just like, on camera like it does in person. Um, and you've got these really big like painterly type of flowers on this one. Um, Double brush poly. So you guys know what that's like. It's kind of drapey. The thing about it is it's super, super, super soft. Um, this one feels on the lighter weight side of double brush poly. You can see a little bit of the drape there. Um, yeah, really nice, uh, would make a really excellent dress. I think I have two or three yards from here. And it did not come from Joanne. It came from the garment district because it says copyright by Italian Fabric Inc. No idea what that means, um, but it's really, really nice and beautiful, doesn't fray, that brush quality we all know and love, but a little bit lighter weight than the double brush that you would find at Joanne. So that's the next one. Next, we have a oatmeal, like heathered um, beige cotton jersey. Uh, this would be obviously an excellent t-shirt, um, a lightweight cardigan, um, a t-shirt dress would be excellent out of this. And I think I have two or more yards of this one. She's just kind of plain though, not much to her. Cotton, 100% cotton jersey. Um, you can see there, yeah. The usual stuff. It is, I want to say, sheerness wise. Like, can you see me? I would go like semi opaque. I definitely can't see through it there, um, but it is, you know, I can see light through it for sure. Um, but 
really beautiful color, just not really my color, you know? Um, okay, next we have this sweater knit. So on one side, it is, can, you're not making this very easy. I'm trying to let you sit up here and enjoy your time, but man, on one side, it's got this smooth section and on the other side, it's brushed. So think about like French cherry, but not the loops, more like a soft brush. So you could easily use either side or both sides. Um, there is a small piece cut away from this because I used it, I think for a cuff or a collar or something, but all the measurements that I um, listed on the Desashify are for like the main part, like anything that was cut away, that part's just extra for you. Um, that wasn't counted in the yardage. And there's still plenty of it to make a sweater, um, for yourself, but it's this pretty blue color, kind of like chambray, a lot like what I'm wearing. Um, just like a lightweight sweater knit though. So really, really nice. Okay, this one is another cotton jersey. Um, it is a gray background with these like blue and green stripes. This one is printed off grain. See how they're going this way? I never really was fully able to assess how bad or much it's printed off grain, but I think that if you could use this to your advantage, instead of trying to make the stripe straight, just make like a cool, interesting one. You know what I mean? Like they don't have to be straight across. No one knows. Um, I think you could do some really interesting stuff with this, especially maybe if you did something that had a center front seam and you could like make it work that way. But it's cotton jersey, lightweight, um, and then here's the opacity, op opacity to it. All right, there we go. If you hear that dog, that's not my dog. That crying dog is somebody else's dog. I cannot be responsible. Here's my crying dog, but she's not crying because she's able to be with me. I know the whimpering dog thing is, <laughs> is interesting in the background of a video, but as long as she's with me, we're fine. So now we have another rayon jersey, olive green. Pretty straightforward. Pretty significant amount of this too. I want to say two yards. Um, lightweight, drapey. Great, like flowy little tee, flowy little top. Um, these make great, great little tops and tanks and things like that. Okay, lightweight rayon. Now we have, oh wait, that one's sold. Never, ah, that one's sold, never mind. This one is, um, it's like a super, super, super thin ponte. I know that sounds so weird, but it is um, this hot pink color and is, I don't know, it's just like ponty knit. It doesn't really have any texture to it. It's just smooth on both sides. It looks the same front to back um, and not a lot of stretch um, on the straight grain. On the cross grain, we've got a pretty significant amount, but recovery isn't superb. So for this, I think I was thinking like an athletic top or an athletic pair of shorts or something like that. It would also make a great overlay if you're doing the tennis skirts with the shorts underneath. You could get like a jersey, which I don't have, a hot pink jersey, um, and this would be your overlay skirt. That would be an excellent use of this. Or if you're doing the, the sports bra tank top combo, um, you would do your sports bra in a super stretchy fabric and this would be your overlay. That would be the best use of this. Um, there's not much of it, I think one yard, but that could get you definitely a top or a skirt out of it. All right, now we have this blue and white stripe, but what you can't see, and I had a hard time taking photos of this too, is there is like a shimmer to it. Hold on, let me get it to catch the light. It's subtle, it's very subtle. You're not gonna go outside and be like a disco ball. <laughs> this came from Mood, I'm almost 99% sure, but it is a sweater knit, um, lightweight, kind of loosely woven. So it would make a great like springtime um, sweater, kind of like a nautical vibe, right? You could definitely like jazz up your sailing outfit with a little bit of sparkle, blue and white stripes still, pair it with, you know, white shorts or a white skirt and you would be the coolest person at the country club. <laughs> I just, I don't know. The fabric just told me that's what it was going to be. Outside of sailing, it's still really pretty um, um, with that really subtle like metallic thread going through it. And the stripes are not equal. The white ones are bigger than the blue ones, which I really like a variegated stripe. All right, that is it for knit. Um, now we're moving into the lightweight wovens. This one is some, some sort of like sanded satiny silk. 
happening. Um, in this beautiful, like, it's like a deep pink, orangey pink. I don't know. It's really like flamingo kind of. It's really, really pretty. It looks just like the camera as it does in person, but it's got this subtle sec texture to it. Pretty opaque. I can see light through it, but I can't see my hand through it. Um, the color is really what's cool here and the texture. It's soft hand feel, right? Um, but it has like, I don't know, kind of like this little pebbled, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera. So, oh wait, there we go, there we go. Can you guys see that? It's almost like a washed silk or like a sanded silk or something like that. So that's her. Um, we have this blue and white plaid pretty sure it's a cotton sh shirting maybe I don't know it's brushed it feels very very soft um so that would make a really cute top kind of like what I'm wearing today but just with this like subtle plaid to it not much of this so maybe more of a tank top or if you're making for a small person you could definitely do something more with it but it's lightweight it's drapey um and just really soft and would be super easy to sew with with the cotton in it Okay, now we have a rayon chalet, no, rayon twill, hold on, let me see, um, but it's very, very, very soft, like softer, it's like more of a brushed than the, the silky type of soft, it's like teddy bear soft, um, and I'm trying to see, is it twill weave or no? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's just a super, super lightweight rayon twill, like really, really lightweight rayon twill in this black and white plaid. I'm 99% sure I got this to make a scarf. So there should be like two, two and a half yards here of this. Um, and then I realized I don't really wear scarves. <laughs> so it would make a beautiful skirt, a beautiful drapey top, probably enough to make a dress if it's sleeveless. Um, and I think would just be really, really um, nice in this. I mean, you can't go wrong with black and white, you know, classic. And it's just really soft, really drapey, really beautiful. Okay, this one is a little bit near and dear to my heart because it's one of the very first fabrics I ever bought ever, ever. It's from Hancock, if that gives you any indication of the era. But it, I don't know what I thought I was gonna do with this, but I remember seeing it and loving it. Don't judge, don't laugh, but it's alphabets. It's letters, it's sheer, completely sheer, um, with the letters. I Someone's got to have a vision for this, please, please. This needs to be something super, super cool. I just don't know what. Like, I, I just never figured out what to make with it. And so that's why, that's why we're here. But look at these, and it even has a little sticker, the little Hancock sticker. I'll leave that for whoever, <laughs> whoever buys it. Um, I just, I don't know. I guess I was really into typography. I don't know what happened, but it's sheer. So maybe like a cool sleeve or like an overlay or an insert of some kind. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe you saw it and you saw something. In that case, you should go grab that. I want to say that's like a dollar on Destasher Buy. I did not charge $5 a yard for that. This did become a scarf. Do you guys remember this? Um, it is a silky, like silky tight polyester. Um, it has this like purpley green, you know, splattery paint vibe to it, but it's silky, has a little bit of sheen to it, super lightweight, super drapey. So there's that. Oh boy. Now we have zebra, okay? I know someone out there likes zebra print. I know it's not for everybody, but I know someone out there loves zebra print. This is a rayon. It's got to be rayon. It could be a really nice polyester. I'm not sure. Um, but it's lightweight. It's drapey. It's going to be one of those like drapey flowy skirts or a top or a sleeveless dress. Um, I think there's two yards of it here. Please, please, please love zebra. Zebra could be so cool. <laughs> okay. Now we have a bit of a heavier weight rayon twill in this baby pink. And I just realized in Me Made May in trying on all the clothes that I've ever made, baby pink and me, mm -mm. my eyeballs like it, but my skin tone, it's not great for me. It's not great for me at all. I'm more of a jewel tone, darker. I think it was like a winter fall. I don't remember. Warm fall, warm winter, something like that. Um, 
Anyways, rayon twill. So drapey, but still structured. You know what I'm saying? Um, this would make, I think I used a little bit of this actually to make a jumpsuit or like culottes, you know, think about that. If you remember that gray and pink jumpsuit, it was like pink on one, gray on the other, and the pants were gray and the tie was pink, I think. Do you remember that? It was years ago. Um, I think that's what this came from, the leftovers from, from that. But still plenty of yardage for you to do something really amazing with it. Would make really, really cute, like paper bag waist drapey shorts. Because it's twill, just like denim is, it's got the structure that you need to cover lumps and bumps in your bottom half or your top half. Um, so yeah, baby pink, rayon twill. And getting close to the bottom here, don't fall. Hold on. I think I have two more. Three. Oh no, I've got a lot more, hold on. <laughs> this is navy blue. Um, navy blue, silky type. Um, it looks like, um, it looks like it would be like a, it's like a mid-weight poly type of, almost like, is it twill though? Hold on. It almost looks like a fancy, fancy pair of dress slacks, like, uh, like that you would wear to like an event, like a nice pair of tuxedo pants, kinda. They have a little bit of a sheen to them, them. This has a little bit of a sheen to it on the right side, but it's it's weighty, you know, that's the thing about it. So it's not lightweight, it's definitely midweight, drapey, silky type of something. That's the right side, can you see the sheen on it? I, I'm pretty sure I got this to make pants. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so navy blue, weighty, but still a little bit of drape. Yeah, so it would make a really great bottom. I have a paisley, burgundy, paisley, gold, little silky polyester y thing, great little top, great little pajama set. Oh. Why am I having all these good ideas for these fabrics right now? Little like camisole and little shorts, please. So, so, so cute. Um, and then this is a sanded satin. I went through a phase. I was hyper fixated on sanded satin for a while. It was a little bit hard to find in Joanne. So I think that's kind of why I was like on the hunt for it. Um, but I made something out of sanded satin and I loved it. So I kept buying it and then I didn't need this like drapey stuff anymore. Um, but it's just black sanded satin. So it's got a little bit of weight to it. Super, super soft, but still very, very, very drapey. Um, like that. Yeah, I love this stuff. It would make, I mean, you can make anything from this. Dress, uh, maybe not bottoms, but like definitely a dress, definitely a top. Definitely like silky pajamas. It'd make a wonderful robe. Oh, or any like kimono style top. Oh, that would be so pretty. Okay, a couple fell, hold on. Oof. All right, so now we have mint green polka dot printed on the bias. This one's supposed to be diagonal. So this one is a little bit sheer. I wanna say it's like a, like a poly chiffon or something like that. So it would be more of like an overlay or you'd have to underline it. But what I loved about it was that the, the stripe of dots um, went in the diagonal. So if you did make a skirt from it, definitely find one that has um, like a center front seam. That way you can make like the chevron-y looking pattern with your stripes as it goes around. But then you would have to for sure line it. Um, somebody, or was, yeah, it was one of the recent patterns, one of the Nomi patterns. It wasn't, it, um, it was Erica Bunkers. So she had a white bodysuit with this sheer, you know, type of sleeve. This would be really great for that too. Um, you could do like either white or like a greenish bodysuit if you could find a matching color of something stretchy enough for a bodysuit and then use this as your sleeves. Or you could make a dress from it use flutter sleeves, leave the sleeves 
not lined and then line the bodice and everything. That would also be really, really pretty. This is also very near and dear to my heart. So this is from Fabrics and Fabrics in New York City. It is a border print, 100% silk. I can't believe this hasn't been snatched up already, but the top portion of the print is like kind of wavy stripes. And then it goes into this little checker. Okay, I got this enough to make a tank top. One, one sleeveless top is one yard for me. And so that's what the print looks like. Again, 100% silk. She's dreamy. She's really, really pretty. This one I might've charged a little bit more for simply because it was so expensive to start with. Um, but yeah, love this one. Can't go wrong, 100% silk with like a super, super cool, unique design to it. And lastly, we have this really pretty guy. This might be silk too. I'm 75% sure that it is, but look how pretty. Beige background, navy blue, and this kind of like, you know, cornflower blue flower mixed in. Lightweight, drapey, um, and I think like one and a half or two yards of it. But yeah, she's, she, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is silk, but I don't remember it for sure. Like that one, I was like, that. I remember that's definitely silk. This one might be silk, it might be a blend. It feels really, really good and really, really expensive, very lightweight. It feels a lot like this one does, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, the print on this one is just super, super pretty. Okay, so that is it for all of my lightweight fabrics. Help me help you. Um, these are all available. They're up on the Destashify right now. Go shop. Um, I think that the shipping, all of, it's all explained. It's really, really easy to do. Um, and then I'll be able to get these out to you this week. Um, and you'll see if what you liked is sold out or if it's still available, snatch it up because I don't think some of these are gonna last very long. Okay. Can't wait to see what you guys get and where in the world I will be shipping, you know, all of this stuff. So um, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.